What's up YouTube, Ollie Ray here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a multiplayer server on Minecraft, as suggested by F21 Productions, on Mac OS X. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to download the Minecraft jar file to be able to set up the server and create all the necessary files and folders. So to do that, we're going to go to the downloads page on Minecraft's website by clicking download here. I'll put a link in the video description that comes straight here. Now what you want to do is make sure you don't download this file or these ones because that's the actual game and you can download that obviously but for setting up the server just make sure you download beta server software not the game. So at the bottom of the page because as that says Minecraft server that says Minecraft it might be easy to get confused I don't know. But at the bottom of the page Minecraft it says multiplayer beta server software. Because we're on a Mac we're going to download the .jar obviously the executable files for Windows. Just going to click on it and it will download it into a downloads folder. Minimize this. Now, I'm going to create a new folder. And that's going to be the folder that I'm going to run my Minecraft server in. I've already got one up here, so I'm just going to leave this as untitled folder so that I know which is which. And then downloads. I'm going to just drag Minecraft server.jar. I recommend you do the same thing because, like I said, it'll create a series of files and folders which need to all be kept in the same file and which you really need to have access to to be able to control the server. Like property files and block lists and things are all, all in there. Makes it easier for all together in one folder. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just going to double click Minecraft server.jar. This message will come up and you just press open. And then basically, It'll create a few files and folders before it'll see, before it's setting up, as you can see. It's currently preparing the world, the spawn area. But as you can see, I'll just move that off to the side. A player, you can ban their IP address so that nobody from that computer can use it rather than allowing them to create another user account, etc. Ban players, that's like banned usernames. And by the way, these are all TXT files necessary otherwise, which can be opened in text edit on Mac which comes on every Mac anyway, if you didn't already know. Obviously the Minecraft server jar, that's what I've got open. Ops, a bit like giving them admin powers to run server commands, and if you're not opt, you can't remove and place blocks. So if there's people helping you build a server, they would probably best to opt them. But if there's people playing your game who haven't helped you build it or anything, there's no need to opt them, because if you opt them, they'll be able to spawn things, then they'll be able to remove bricks, destroy things. However, I don't think you can open chests if you're not opt, I'm not 100% sure on that. Server.log, I'm not actually too sure what that is. It's just a log of all the activity on the server. You don't really need to go into that one. That's an LCK file, you can't open that anyway, but um, it's just to do with the server log. Server.properties is the one I'm going to go into right now, but I'll just quickly go over the other ones. I'm not too sure what the whitelist is. However, world. If you download maps off the internet, you would just, that's basically the Minecraft world. If you delete all the files inside, it will create a brand new blank world. What I'd recommend doing is creating another folder. Just inside this folder would be fine. Calling it Minecraft worlds and copying all your worlds into there, because if you're downloading different maps off the internet, rather than keeping it the same map all the time, you need to save, just copy that whole folder, and then paste it into wherever, and then you can just delete it. And, create a new, it'll create a new one automatically, but as long as you make sure you save everything. So, just open the Minecraft jar and it's preparing, it's prepared the spawn area, which is the world basically, and the first thing we're going to do is go into server.properties. Okay, basically the reason why I'm showing you this is because um, the one thing you will need to do before you can run the server and people can access it, is put an IP address in there. The port can stay the same, unless you want to change it for some reason, but um, I wouldn't mess on with that. And the server IP address can be found, well my favourite way of doing it is by downloading a program called LogMe in Hamachi, which is here, icon of this. I'm not going to open it because, for privacy reasons basically, I'm in a network so not only will it show my IP address for my server, but it will show a list of other people's IP addresses, and I'm sure they, know what, they won't want theirs on the video either. So I'm not going to open that up, but basically you'll have your your name or your computer's name and an IP address underneath it. That's the IP address to use. I mean, my um, log me in Hamachi is not essential to run a Minecraft server. It's just a, it's a nice program to have. 
because you can find out like a, your IP address and things straight away from it because you can't put your standard IP address in um, because it needs to be a special IP address to be able to run a server on it otherwise it won't work it needs to be one that other people can access and that's why it's easier to do it that way because it's quite complicated to find it otherwise anyway it's very simple to do I'm just going to put a random number in here to show you what you need to do so the server IP would be you know I mean it would be more numbers than that but I'm putting in 1.2.3.4 and then you would just go to file and save and then close it once you put your IP address in and you would close Minecraft server and open it back up again that's what you need to open every time you want to launch the server by the way if you've never looked at these before and you go um, into this box what you need to do is you can type server commands and things like that into there that's the console as it says here there's an error message saying that um, can't assign a requested address, perhaps the server is already running on that port. That's because I just made a random number up that doesn't exist. But if you put the right um, server in there, it would work fine. Don't worry about any of these warnings if you get more RAM, because it never really affects anything. Or well, it hasn't for me anyway. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment. It could be absolutely anything, and I will leave links to Logmin Hamachi, the Minecraft website, and also the Minecraft wiki page on creating servers, so that um, you've got some information there if you're stuck and want to read some more detailed information, and also on how to do it in other operating systems. Okay, well, once again, just thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe to the Oliblade channel. Bye for now.